Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. Today in this video we are going to study about the difference between RTD, thermocouple and thermistor. Basically these three are the temperature measurement devices which are used, frequently used in industries for measurement of temperature. And these three are different from each other on a number of parameters. So without any further delay let us start with the difference between these three. In terms of sensor material, RTDs are normally made of a single metal and the platinum is the most widely used metal for RTD construction. We know that the PT100 is the most widely used RTD in industry. Thermocouples are made of two dissimilar metal as for the functioning of thermocouple a junction, a junction of two different dissimilar metal is essential for generation of the millivolt signal with temperature change. Thermistors are normally made of metal oxides. In terms of temperature range, thermocouples are having the widest temperature measurement range. While the thermistors could measure a temperature from minus 100 to 300 degree Celsius, RTDs are capable of measuring a temperature from minus 200 to 650 degree Celsius. The thermocouples are having the widest temperature measurement range and that is from minus 200 to 1750 degree Celsius. When it comes about thermal response, thermistors are having the fastest response time. So, thermistors are having a thermal response time of 0.05 to 2.5 second. The RTDs are slowest among these three and it is having a thermal response time of 1 to 50 second. The thermocouples lie in between RTD and thermistor and it is having a thermal response time of 0.1 to 10 second. Depending on the construction type, wire wound RTD is slow while the film RTD is fast. Thermocouple could be of two types, seated or exposed tip. If it is exposed tip, the junction is getting heated directly from the temperature source for which it is being used for measurement of temperature. While in case of seated thermocouple, the, expo the tip is inside the seat. So, the tip will get heated after the heating of the outside seat. So, seated thermocouple will be having a slow thermal response and exposed tip thermocouples will be having faster thermal response. When it comes about accuracy, RTDs are most accurate as the RTDs are having a thermal accuracy of 0.1 to 1 degree Celsius. Thermistors come after RTD and thermistors are having a thermal accuracy of 0.1 to 1.5 degree Celsius and the thermocouples come last among these three and it is having a thermal accuracy of 0.5 to 5 degree Celsius. In terms of excitation, RTDs always need a continuous current signal to measure the temperature as RTDs are changing resistance with change in temperature to measure the resistance we always need a current signal and same is the case with thermistor as thermistors also change resistance with change in temperature and that is not the case with thermocouple as thermocouple generate the millivolt signal dependent on the change in temperature no external excitation is required for measurement of temperature in case of thermocouple. Characteristic RTDs are having PTC characteristic that is positive temperature coefficient characteristic. So, when the temperature rises the resistance across the RTD will increase. Thermistors are of NTC and PTC characteristics that is negative temperature coefficient as well as positive temperature coefficient. So, thermistors could be either NTC or PTC. The resistance across the thermistor could rise with increase in temperature or could decrease 
with increasing temperature that will depend that whether it is a NTC thermistor or PTC thermistor. The thermocouples are of thermo voltage characteristic that is with change in temperature they will generate a voltage signal. When it comes about linearity, RTDs are fairly linear while thermocouples are mostly non-linear. Thermistors are completely different from these two as it is exponential. In case of thermistor with increase in temperature, the resistance of the thermistor will rise exponentially. While in case of RTD with increase in temperature, the resistance will increase linearly in case of RTD. When it comes about electrical pickup, RTDs are rarely susceptible for pickup of electrical noise from its surrounding. Thermocouples are susceptible to the pickup of electrical noise from its surrounding and thermistors are not at all susceptible for electrical pickup. RTD and thermistors use copper as the extension leads, while the thermocouples use compensating cable depending on the type of thermocouple used. Relatively low cost and in case of RTD, wire wound RTD is expensive while the film RTD is cheaper. So with this I conclude this video in which we learned about the difference between RTD thermocouple and thermistor. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to like the video if you like it and do comment your views regarding the video. Thank you.